The following video was brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Save 10% on world-class hosting or any GoDaddy product when using the code POD88 at checkout. Now, the latest and greatest from the Jiggy Jaguar. Get more info at JiggyJaguar.info. <laughs> And welcome back to KJAG Radio. Clearly, I am not Jiggy Jaguar. You don't even need to see me to know that one. But I think I'm doing you a favor, to be honest, everybody. Oh, gosh. So we've got two great guests here uh, Here next. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just go right over to, uh, why don't we start with you, sir? You go ahead and introduce yourself. Let everybody know who you are. We're here now. It's Nelson L. And, uh, you know, just high on us to all the listening audience. I think we're going to have some good vibrations today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, of course, you, young lady, could you please let everybody know who you are? Hey, I'm Holly, artist from KC. Yes, that's I'm really, I'm really feeling these, uh, the earrings you got here today. Like, I, no. yeah, I know it really makes you stand out in the room, so I'm feeling it. So. Well, I wear the hoops. Yes, excellent. So, I mean... Uh, you know, there's a lot of great people coming through today, a lot of great artists. Um, so, so, so tell me a little bit, uh, Holly, about kind of what you do and, and how you ended up here on the show today. Um, well, I've been making music. I've been singing my whole life, and I've been writing songs since I was little. And then I took it serious as soon as I graduated high school in 2018. Um, and I've just been, I put out my first single and it turned out to be a way bigger hit than I thought it was. So then I was like, okay, this is this is kind of cool. Let's make another one. And now I'm just making music and I'm progressing, improving every song. So now I'm here and it's it happened so fast because 2018 was not too long ago. And it's definitely crazy. I'm excited to see what this year brings. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, what, what can you tell us about that first single that, that, that went off for you? My first single, Trust Issues. Um, yeah, I was literally, me and my best friend, we were just chilling, smoking, and in her room. And I heard this beat, and I just started writing to it. And she even helped me, came up with some of the words. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to just take this into the studio, see what we can get. And then... That's how I met else too, because the person that was producing it, like, stopped, like, stopped <laughs> completely working with me in the middle of recording the song. So he finished, he took over and finished it. And now he's my producer and he's helped me produce all my other amazing singles. That's, that's crazy, especially since, like, just jumping in on somebody else's project. You know, that's already like part way through. It was then, difficult. Yeah, being able to take it through like that. You know, it's 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 great to have somebody you can really depend on like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure you know it's uh it's a struggle, you know, to find a reliable piece. So. It is. I'm glad I finally found one because for the longest time I had the most trouble because I've been to other recording studios like since I was 13 but my issue was I sang a cappella my whole life so I didn't know how to sing to music at all. My first single is self-taught. I like taught myself how to sing to that beat and he did such a good job with helping me and now he's just we have a good relationship and I love it. What, what, are, what are you thinking, my friend? What are you you know, about? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm listening to, to Holly, yeah. and I'm thinking, you know, sometimes the universe really wants to see if you really want it. Yes. And Absolutely. so there's different things that go on, and as you persevere and you continue on your journey, mm-hmm. those things are only going to serve to make you a better artist. Yeah. And so when you really realize what's going on, you know you're on your path, and this is your calling then these things will come up, but you'll start to look at these as opportunities to grow. So I'm just looking at it. I'm happy, man. I'm, I feel good because I feel like, you know, we're at the, a new era of time now. You know, this is kind of like the, the age of Aquarius. It's the age of awakening, the age of information and knowledge. And so um, when I think about the culture itself, you know, the influence that it has, 
globally the impact that, that, that this culture, that this thing that we've created has, we know that, I feel anyway, I'll just say that, I know that that's the way we're going to end up changing the world, you know, because I don't care who you are, you might not listen to your mom and dad, you might not listen to, you know, your teacher at school, you may not listen to the police or, or the judge in court, whatever, but you most likely will listen to some music. So, um, you know, I just feel like we're at an air time now where it's a beautiful time because um, a lot of the boxes that people created don't exist anymore. So, you know, you can be like a Lizzo, which may be not the typical Barbie Dow kind of artist, or you can be like a Tyler the Creator and have green hair, or you can, you know, your sexual preference doesn't, you know, necessarily matter. Right now, what matters is are you relevant? What are you talking about? What are you creating? You know, and if you can um, contribute to the consciousness, then you're gonna you're gonna do okay. You'll be alright. So, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm here to usher in this new this new era of time. Absolutely. And I think like on kind of on the same note, you, you mentioned you know a lot of these boxes that that existed before um, in the world in general, but I think especially in like music and the arts. I think more so than people going out or not going outside of them, I think they're finding that these boxes never actually existed in the first place, which is all really convinced that, you know, the only way to be successful as, as an artist, uh, and especially a musician, you know, you put out, you, you do indie thing, you get a deal, you go on tour, you do all these other things for a label who's going to take 80% off the top, and then they're going to take the money that they paid to, to, to record the album. You know, and I'm, I'm seeing that especially a lot of hip hop lately. Right. A lot of artists are coming out like, yo, I just went indie. I don't own any of my music. I have to start completely from scratch. Right. You know, and, and it's, it's crazy. Right, right. So I think it's really great that, you know, that we, that independent spirit and that people can kind of do their own thing now and still find pockets. Absolutely. The internet, the internet's crazy that way. I think especially a lot of people are discovering it in, in you know, COVID times and lockdown. So, um, you know, I'm absolutely with you on that. Um, so, kind of, um, ha and, and on that note, like, how has, and I, I know you're, you're rather recent into into, uh, into music, but how has kind of lockdown and COVID kind of affected how you approach what you do? Um, you know, ha has it changed anything meaningfully or has it, you know, like, like where, where, where does your mind land when you, when you think about it? what the last year has done to your process. That's a touchy subject. It is, and we can skip it absolutely if you're not comfortable with it. It's I, all good. I'm comfortable with it. It's just... Whew. So last year, I expected my career to like take off because I was like, bet, I'm really doing the damn thing. And now I got pregnant, so that's... And my I kept my pregnancy private because... It was, I, I got pregnant from rape, so it definitely, so I kept it private and I took a big break from my music. Um, I had a lot of time to sit at home and think about the baby and music and I definitely, I decided like even before I realized I was pregnant, I was like, yeah, if I ever have a kid, I can do both, like I definitely can do both and then when I realized like, I'm actually about to be a mother. I'm like, okay, so now I have to do both. I have no other choice. Because my whole life, I never had a plan B. Everybody asked me, like, what's your plan B if music doesn't work out? I was like, this music is, is my plan, plan A. Yeah. My plan B is my plan A. Right. And I'm literally in, like, manifestation is such a real thing because all throughout high school, that's all I did. I kept manifesting, like, like as soon as I graduate, I'm going to be this big music artist. I'm going to make music and... I had so many people doubt me, my best friends even, like my childhood friends, that's why we're not friends anymore because they were my, they were some of my biggest doubters and I'm literally in the middle of what I used to talk about. So I'm not in no rush, I'm not, that's what COVID taught me too, like patience, like I really have to be patient with it because everything happens exactly how it's supposed to. Every single decision I make, every single thing that happens to me happens for a reason and I'm I'm still doing music for a reason because it's like out of all the stuff that I, I could have got pregnant and went off the face of the earth, which I did, I did for a little bit, well, but then I came back with uh, my recent single, Sweet, 
and that's been doing really good. So I'm definitely here to show people that it's I'm living proof that it's definitely possible to have other priorities, but still do you, your dream, your passion, like all that. Yeah, you definitely lit up when you talk about that. I'm 100% on board. So yes, excellent. And what about like? Right, you know, like how has how has like the recent year kind of uh, pushed things up for you? Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, let me say a, a star is born. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. I am. She understands universal laws. She understands how how everything is connected, and there are no accidents. I love it. I love it. So you know, with me, um, it's been a great time. You know, I mean, I don't have bad days, right? So. It's almost like, like this chair I'm sitting in. Is this a good chair or is it a bad chair? It's just a chair, you know? Uh, it's just another day. Now, I know there's going to be some challenges, but that's peaceful because these challenges, like I was just sharing with you, make me make better, make me better, make me better. So I embraced COVID. Um, I was already living in a bubble anyway, you know, because, um, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, just the the project and some of the things that I've been personally undergoing. So it gave me an opportunity to kind of go intra, go inside and, and just be creative, you know? So I've been working this whole time. I've been working, working hard. Um, so I hadn't had no days off. So where a lot of people, I know everybody's been working, but um, it's really been putting it together. So when it does open up, we'll be able to take advantage. Cause I look at it like this, everything right now is going to do a, a shift of paradigm, right? So, as uh, as we enter into this new state of awareness, a new heightened sense of consciousness, right? Um, the old information, the old ways to do stuff, you know, we have to be able to evolve. I think it was Steve Jobs that said, "Innovate or die." You know, the Apple guy, right? So, it just I just looked at it as a, as a time to to get myself together to innovate. And then just looking at the world and politics and everything that goes on, you know, I realized, or maybe I read somewhere, that during times of chaos, times when things are uh, unstable, this is when your new millionaires and your new billionaires are made, right? Because the other ones are falling off because they're trying to figure out how to sustain maybe whatever they created. But it's others that are saying, okay, now the situation's like this, I'm seeing things differently now. Let me capitalize on this. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a young billionaire right now. And I see, uh, I think Pac said, I peeped the weakness in the game. You feel me? I peeped the weakness in the game and I showed it. I peeped the weakness in the game right now. I, I see it so plainly. And I think a lot of artists, um, they missed it. You know, they're missing it. And um, as we enter into this, you know, people getting ready, when we come out of this thing, when the wheels of industry get back going again, because industry is shut down right now. Right. Nobody's doing no big stadiums, nobody's doing no big tours, nobody's mm -hmm. overdoing, you know, I'm in Europe right now, you know, if you live in Europe, you're in Europe. Right. But you're not over touring in Europe right now. You know, their COVID and um, quarantine stuff is actually stricter than ours is. Yes. And so, right now, you're in a cocoon stage, if you will, yes. right? preparing to be whoever you're going to be once we get into this new era of time. So when the wheels of industry open back up, um, it's, it's, um, if you're not prepared, you know, if you're not ready, you're going to get, you're going to find yourself left behind. You know, it's almost like some biblical stuff, right? You don't be left out, man. And everybody else will be entering into the kingdom of heaven. So it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, I, I look at it as a good time of transition, a time of transition. COVID uh, quarantine. Yeah. And all kind of straight off. Yeah, and that seems to be a, a similar thing in both these stories. It's just uh, there's there's a lot going on, and then a very sudden change in transition. Right. And, and you just gotta have to you change the way you approach the world. Right. And and I absolutely get that. Um, so, gosh, this has, been, this has been great. I don't want to keep guys all day. I mean, you guys got a million things to do here. So I just want to ask, you know, real quick, um, where can we find you on socials? What are you doing next you want people to know about? Or what have you done recently? Like, let me hear from you. Like, what are you uh, social media, Holly the Artist is my Instagram. On YouTube, you can just search up Holly with the I. I'm on all platforms, just Holly with the I, Trust Issues, my one single that you can 
easily find, and my I'm working on an EP right now. That's a work in progress, but I do have one more single coming out before that drops, and that'll be coming out, and I think in the next month. So that'll be a fun one for the summer. I'm very excited for that one to drop. All right, sir. All right, uh, my name is Nelson L. And, um, you know, just I'm an overall brand, I guess I'd say. So I'm an author. I wrote a book called The Introduction to the Truth of Life. It deals with the seven fundamental basic principles of, of the universe. Consciousness, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. I am also the founder of the Kansas Underground Railroad Historical Society. I established it just to shine a light on the, the historical significance that Kansas played in the liberation of the entire nation. You know, there's a lot of people that don't realize that the Civil War actually started in Kansas. Um, the Missouri Border War and all that stuff, this predated uh, the Civil War. And it actually is what kicked the Civil War off. Uh, so I got that going on, but I also been doing music forever. That's like my, my passion, right? So, you know, if I, you know, at the risk of sounding cocky but you know really really wanted to be confident I know I'm a pretty dope MC and um, you know I realized that we're in an era of time now where people are gonna need something that is uh, uplifting something positive so you know I made a conscious decision to take all the cussing out of my lyrics um, I don't disrespect women I don't kill my brother I don't glorify the gun I don't sell drugs I don't you know, I took it all out. And, you know, part of it is, someone's like, well, why you don't do that? Well, I can cuss. You know, it's not hard to cuss or not. But if you're rapping and I'm rapping, and you're cussing, then I don't want to cuss. You know, I mean, I just really broke it all down. I probably overanalyzed a lot of stuff that I do, but I looked at it like this. When, when artists first started cussing, it was for shock value. Yep. Like, oh, did you hear what he just said? You know, and... It, it you want to hear some more Eazy-E, you know, or some more, you know, NWA or whatever, because your mom didn't want you hearing that, and you knew it was like something you was going to do, because you was, and it was good, you wanted to hear more of it. But now, if there's a 12-year-old boy, and he's an artist, and he's cussing, I'm not going to even raise an eyebrow. It's commonplace. Yep. So I'm like, if you're cussing, I'm not cussing. I'm not following you. You know, so just really here to just let the, let the game okay. know. Just to put everybody on alert. If you're not okay. demonstrating truth, uh, you know, the light's about to come on. So that's all, you know. So you can find me on my social medias is I am Nelson E.L. And if you're talking to uh, Siri or whatever, just say it like that. Siri, play Nelson E.L. Because if you say Nelson L, uh, no disrespect, but like one of my Spanish friends will pop up. Or something, you know, okay. Some guy from like Guadalajara or something. But no, there's another artist named Nelson L, Spanish guy. Uh, but anyway, so say Nelson E.L. And uh, you can find me on Instagram with that. You can find me on uh, my YouTube channel. And um, I'm currently promoting a project called Drew Ali, American Prophet by Nelson L. And uh, just look for it. It's available on all downloadable platforms. Excellent. Thank you both so much for your time. It's been great hearing your story. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, so next up, we're going to bring back uh, the man of the hour, or, or an hour of some sort. Uh, Jiggy Jab will be back with the next interview. It, I have been Edward, a.k.a. DJ Almamia. Brucey, jump in there and tell us what's going on. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment and like our videos. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out our website.